Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to BK Pokemon Cards. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you probably may well know, we have been on a bit of a bumpy journey up and down with Evolving Skies, Great Pulls, Alternate Arts, Secret Rare, and not so much, kind of a drought with some full arts, no secret rares, some VMAXs, one alt art, maybe two. It's been a little up and down. I recently saw a video on YouTube, shout out to, I believe it was Frosted Caribou, shout out to her channel, absolutely incredible content, but I saw her open one singular ETB, eight packs and pull a V, um, a secret rare rainbow rare VMAX and a secret rare VMAX alternate art out of one ETB. Today, right here we have four. I've got two of each. So two of the Leafeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Umbreon, two Sylveon, Espeon, Glaceon, Vaporeon. The other ones are over here to the side. We are going to battle back and forth between these ETBs. What cards are better? better in the these four or these four and we're gonna find out in hopes of pulling one secret rare per box if we could get four oh my gosh it'll be incredible not gonna happen but if we could have one etb that even touches the level that that one was that i mentioned then we are killing it let's go okay for the first etb let's go ahead and jump into the Sylveon, Glaceon, Vaporeon, Espeon, ETB. Comment down below, go ahead and let me know, have you opened any of these ETBs? If so, how have the pulls been? Have you been getting good pulls or not? There's the book, that's gonna have basically everything there is to know about this set. I love how this is like reflective, very, very nice. Um, let's see, I will, here's a code card. Very excited for these sleeves. I hope that they are more shiny and not matte like the other newer sleeves have been, but we will find out. No promo card, of course, we've got dividers and packs are right here. So I believe, yeah, it's gonna be eight packs. So we've got eight packs right here to go for this first ETB. And we are going to get straight into it, fingers crossed, for some really, really good pulls. And there is our first code card. Going to try to keep the code cards hidden just so we can enjoy really all of the packs for what they're worth, for what they have inside. Flabebe, Psyduck sitting on the beach. That's such a good one. C dot. Whoop, there it is, Bat, Shift Tree, and our very first pull is an Espeon V. So right now we are right on track with a V card pull to start things off, and it's only up from here, baby. We will see what we can do. Um, but as for right now, we're starting with a V, which is a great, great way to start. Um, like I said, really only up from here. Golduck, Pumpkaboo, Ruff, Lotad, Emolga. Okay, it was another Woobat going flying, Petalil, and Wishy Washy, which to me, um, in Evolving Skies, is the absolute most confusing card. The fact that Wishy Washy uh, is a rare just makes me laugh. It's green. I don't know. I, maybe, maybe I won't hide. Maybe I won't hide the code card just because uh, we kind of know if we get a green code card what our packs are going to look like. Um, so that being said, maybe we just go ahead and do the card trick on white and green like said pack and kind of roll through the green ones just for time's sake. Let's go lightning. <clears throat> Close enough with the fighting energy, not really. Scroll of the Flying Dragon. Could it be a sign? Flying Dragon, Rayquaza. That's what we need. We need that Breath of the Wild, Rayquaza, alternate art, VMAX card. Ooh, and we, oh my gosh, we've got a secret rare. We finally have another secret rare. Let's go. Can it be 
Let's guess. I'm gonna guess Rayquaza VMAX. That's the one I really, really want. And it's Lycanroc VMAX. Secret rare, rainbow rare. Not too shabby though. I will take absolutely any secret rare, rainbow rare that we can get at this point. And as I mentioned before, we are on track to have another a huge ETB hit like that video I mentioned. I said rainbow rare. There was two secret rares. It was like a rainbow rare. It was an alternate art VMAX and a V card in one ETB. And so far we are firing on all cylinders and I absolutely am not upset about that one bit. Another green and white code card. Maybe ETBs in this set are the way to go. I have no idea. We've got leaf energy, grass, grass, leaf. I kind of say both. Same difference and you know what I mean. Drowsy, Rog, and Rolla, Flabebe, Psyduck, Love Disc, and Holographic Florgies. Two more packs to go in the first ETB, but Sylveon, Espeon, Vaporeon, Glaceon ETB is doing very well and continuing to dish out green and white code cards. Let's go Lightning. Oh, thank you. There we go. Lightning Energy, Copycat, Eskew, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, Emolga, oops, Woobat, a little bent, Gossifleur, Feebas, Hippopotas, Palpitoad, and a Glaceon V. So the pulls are really, really doing well so far in the ETBs. Um, probably green, yep, figured that would be green. We got two Vs. A secret rare, rainbow rare VMAX. Not my favorite, but still cool. And a regular holographic. So four pulls to four packs. And we will now move on to Leafeon, Jolteon, Umbreon, Falerion, and see what we can get from the next ETB. Just for time's sake, we all know what's in ETBs. We've got the sleeves. I'll show you the sleeves. Um, it's gonna match the art on the box. And then code cards and whatnot. But you know, there's gonna be a book inside. It's gonna be reflective and look really, really cool. Little divider right there. Here's our packs. Here are the sleeves, which are super nice looking. And the ETB code card for you there. Let's get this out the way. And then we have eight more packs to go. Can we keep our hot streak alive? Can we keep our hot streak alive? Well, it's starting strong with a green and white code card to start this first ETB. I am right now very happy with how it looks like the pull rates are going to go for ETBs. Um, and this may be the way to go. I thought, I thought the booster boxes were killing it. But here we are on our second ETB, and it has yielded very nice pulls. We've got an Entei holographic, nice. Crazy enough, I actually haven't pulled that hollow with all the packs and booster boxes and stuff that I've opened so far. So that's my first time with the Entei hollow. This card looks off-centered, which means maybe we will get us a secret rare because it seems like boost shake. Bergmite, Drowsy, it seems like a lot of the secret rares are off-centered in this set, which is okay, I guess. A little disappointing. We've got Psyduck and, oh my goodness, a full art, could we get, oh my gosh, if it's full art Dragonite, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ooh, it's full art, alternate art, Galurk, and it is off-centered, so like I said, really good pulls have been off-centered for some reason. Um, that was kind of a telltale sign when I saw that. Alternate Art Dragonite is a sleeper card that I really want, but we've got Alt Art Go Lurk, and that is not, I mean, we're sitting on a Secret Rare, Rainbow Rare, and an Alt Art, and we are only on this third pack. Oh, and it's another green and white. Okay, this is killing it. The third pack, off-centered, bad. This is probably gonna be a phenomenal card. Oh my gosh. Okay, or maybe just a regular V. I've seen a lot of regular Vs that are really off-centered. Okay, we are only on the third pack of the second ETB, and we are on fire as of right now. Very, very exciting. 
Let's keep the fire going. And we have a very off-centered Espeon V to go with our other Espeon V. So my guess was good. It's the Vs as well. That can be super, super off-centered. Um, I just, I remember I pulled a Leafy on V that was like hanging off the side of the card. It was so bad. So we've had, we're halfway through our second ETB and we've had three green and white code cards already. So we may cool off for a second here, but knock on wood and let's bounce back strong. Man, that go lurk tripped me out because I was like, am I about to get my Dragonite? Oh boy. But hey, maybe we can get another. Maybe we can get another alt art from the same ETB. I wouldn't put it past this set. I mean, it's either it's either banging or kind of or kind of cooled off. So we are doing really good so far, though. Nothing to complain about at all. And it's green and white, baby. Let's go. I'm dropping packs. One, two, three, and four. Let's go water. Fire, I feel like I never guess water, and maybe that's why. Palpatode, Shopping Center, Herdier, Bergmite, Flabebe, Swablu, Lit Leo. We've got an Appleton. Can we get a secret rare? We cannot, but we have an Umbreon V, which is not bad at all. Two Vs, no, yeah, two Vs, because it was the other, the other Espeon. Two Vs. A hollow and an alternate art. This is probably gonna be green, and it is. And we have found a pattern. Two ultra rares or above per ETB is what it's looking like. No, three, three. Three ultra rares and above. So we've got ultra, ultra, and above. All right, cool. Third box. Let's keep up with this. So this is the Leafeon, we'll call it, and we'll call this one Sylveon, which they are basically tied. I would say the first box is probably ahead a little bit because the Rainbow Rare is a secret rare, but alternate arts are very, very great cards. Um, if that was a Dragonite, I probably would have given the first box the lead just because I'm biased on that being one of the absolute best cards in this entire set, which is a fact, not an opinion. There is a code card, and we are gonna be underway in our third ETB, third one of the day. Go Lurk wanted to lay down for a second, and away we go. All right, fingers crossed we can continue this hot streak. Um, not with this first pack, but hey, no big deal. I'm still, I know I say this a lot, I'm still waiting for the day that I open an error pack where it's a green code card, but it absolutely should have been green and white. Um, that to me would just be absolutely, I think that'd just be so much fun because you're kind of immediately like, oh man, this isn't gonna be a good pack when it's green. Um, and then, oops, it was supposed to be green and white. That's just, I just, I wanna see that happen. Scroll of the Fanged Dragon. Chinchal, Petalil, Dino. We've got Feebas with some some fishing lures out there with him, and a Hollow Ludicolo, which somehow is another Hollow I haven't pulled yet. So maybe they're really spreading the holographics out and trying to make them um, a little more rare, like the ultra rares and above. Not really working as far as value goes, but I would love to see regular holographics kind of make a comeback. One, two, three, and four. They're actually like a lost cause as of right now. I mean, nobody really cares about regular hollows. But psychic energy to start things off. We've got Nuzleaf leaning against a tree. Lotad, Lit Leo. Come on, can we get something crazy? Let's get another secret rare. Let's get another secret rare. We have a Suicune V. All right, nice V card, pulled it before. I don't know if I've pulled the Umbreon before or not. I'm, I'm actually having a hard time remembering. Um, sometimes I don't keep up with the ultra rares as much because we really are looking for ultra rares and above, emphasis on above. 
three packs to go. We've got what? A hollow and an ultra rare as of now. This one's green, which would make me think that the last two packs should be loaded. Um, just based on the pattern, the pattern that we've seen. But hey, sometimes ETBs will let you down. But not today. We've got green and white. Card trick of four. And let's go ahead and guess dark. Yes, sir. Twice. I don't know that I've gotten guess the energy right more than one time in a video in a very, very long time. Today we've got, ele we've got electric and dark under our belt. We've got a reverse hollow Rayhan and we have pulled a holographic Zoark. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Come on, Sylveon ETB. We absolutely can. Last pack magic. Come on, baby. This has got to be big. It's off centered. It's got to be big. We've got Leaf, Grass, Lombre, Full Face Guard, Hypno squatting down, Feebas, Hop Up, Hitmon, The Fletch. Tentacool, copycat, and it all comes down to this as far as the Sylveon and all the others ETBs. We have gone and pulled full art Metacham V. Not shabby, not a chase card, but look at that texture. Really good looking card. Love the full arts. And so far, we've got Three pretty good pulls to show for three ETBs. Final ETB on the horizon. It is, we'll call it Leafy on. I'm just gonna call the boxes by whoever's right there because there's obviously four Pokemon on each ETB. If I could get this open without knocking things down, we're just gonna get the packs out and roll. Come on, baby. Let's go nuts. Final ETB. This ETB absolutely has the ability to win this ETB battle for Leafeon, Umbreon, Jolteon, Flareon ETBs across the Pokemon community with some absolutely insane pulls. So let's go ahead and see what's in store, starting out with a green and white code card, which is the only way to start out for Psychic. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. I've got two right. No one expects me to get more than two right. Come on, no big deal. Dream Ball, Tinnacool, Hopip, Dino, Mareep, Dino, Blow Your Horn. We've got Cutie Fly, and we have pulled a Toy Catcher Gold Card. The Gold Card items, and stadiums just don't do it for me. I want an Inteleon, man. I want a gold, uh, what's it called? Cresselia. But hey, look, that's another secret rare. We pulled two secret rares. Nothing to frown at at all. Finally, some more secret rares off the board. And Altaria right there in the green. Maybe this can be one of those ETBs with a multiple secret rare hits. Not from this pack. Absolutely not happening with this pack. But we do have a Shift Tree, a Fighting Energy, and a Tentacruel. Hmm. Dragonite. Let's go for the Dragonite Altar. That seems realistic with a gold card. We've got green and white. One, two, three, and four. Uh, Psychic. Hmm. Hmm. Fire, Energy, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, Fletchender, Lantern, the Teddy, Feebas, Hop, Hitmonchan, Fletch again, Drampa the Grandpa, and we have pulled Rayquaza V, which is off-center bad. These V cards are pretty off-center. All right, halfway through, Rayquaza V, uh, I think we've pulled it before, a memory, I think we pulled it before. Green code card showing us that we have a falapple in our future three packs to go. I would love for you to comment down below. Let me know which ETBs you think won. Obviously, 
probably wait for these final three packs and see what's in store. But so far, it looks like the pull rate for ETBs is nothing to frown at at all. Really great cards. Rainbow Rare, Alternate Art, the whole nine yards. This is green. Oh no, don't let a toy catcher be all that was in store for us. And a Gorgeist and a copycat. Final pack, Duraludon on it. Can we get some last pack magic? Comment last pack magic down below and let's say green and white and it's not. That's okay. We are going out with a bang with a double up on Flapple. That's okay. We pulled a lot of V's, full art, secret rare toy catcher, alternate art, rainbow rare lichen rock. Nothing to frown at at all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in for this massive ETB battle. Hopefully you were entertained. And I mean, the pull rate was pretty dang good. So comment down below, let me know which ETB line you feel like won. Subscribe to the channel to support. Leave a like if you enjoy the content. And as always, I will catch you in the next video very, very soon. For more awesome pulls, click on one of these videos right now.